was beautiful. We, did, we weren't hungry, we might have been poor, but we all ate, we all looked out for one another. And now it's devastation. It's like extinction of a people, I don't, I don't understand. Half a block away, someone was shot and killed. We could hear the bullets. You, you hear the gunfire, and we're in a community where kids know to duck and hide and take shelter. That's why a safe place is needed. Y'all not the leader. Yes, we are. Because we hug them. We, we say positive things to them. We let them know how special they are. And that's something that's missing at home. And um, not to sound cliche, but it takes a village to raise a kid. And we just made a decision to be the village. If we hear war, we think war. Like, now I have to be a soldier. Now I have to defend myself. The mindset of uh, declaring war on the bad guys on behalf of the good citizens of this city is something that we need to take into account. Now it's a collaborative effort where everything is on the table all the intelligence is shared across the board, and what used to take weeks, if not months, is now taking days to put together and formulate a plan, operationalizing that plan, and putting cops on the ground to attack it. It's a life and death situation, and that is war, when life and death is, uh, is, is, uh, is at stake. And we're talking about lives that are at stake. Watch the cars. We learning to do the, the right, right things. things. Not selling drugs yeah. like all these crack kids and all that other stuff be around here. It's cool to be in a gang. It's, 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 you know, you get stripes if you're locked up. Like this is, this is the backwards, idiotic sort of culture that exists in the street world. And that's really what we're attacking. It's a cultural thing. Respect for other people, respect for themselves. When you get that as a young person, you don't go hurt people. You, you don't go hurt yourself. Y'all let us sit in poverty. Y'all let us sit and, and be oppressed. You know, so we don't got no choice. If, if it's no job opportunities, you know, if you got a felony, you can't get a job and things like that, then you're gonna force us to, to come out here and rob each other to get money to, to support our habit or to support our family. We need to come together collectively and provide these solutions, not for us, for the generation after us, because us, is, it's no more us. It's not about us no more. It's about the generation after us. <laughs>